Hello everyone, um, it's me again, I'm just going to do a little watercolour in a very loose fashion and a relaxed fashion as well. I want you all to relax when we do these paintings. Don't take them too serious. Don't take yourself serious as well, all the paintings. No matter how bad you think they look, somebody else will think they look okay. So carry on and just enjoy yourself. So with me it's the watercolours and we're going to use... This is a new uh, hake. Uh, listen to me, it's not hake. We're not using hakes today. I'm using these uh, big wash brushes. Uh, let's see if I can steady myself. Now these wash brushes are made out of squirrel hair. Apart from one, it's made out of a horse hair, would you believe? I think it's that one with all the little light hair in it. We'll use that also while for our washes. That's a nice pointed one I've just bought. And I've just bought this one, it's a new one. This uh, is a pointed wash aquafine daily brownie. This is just, it is called a money, and I bought this off eBay, cheap one. And, well, that's about it. But that's a bit different, isn't it? I don't what kind of a plastic is wrapping that but that that's a horse so let's let's do a wash we'll wash with the horse i'll use this new one for why it's such a good point on it on this other small one the new one the daily that has a good point on it so we'll, we'll use that as well we'll start by just coloring in the sky but not overdoing it because when we're doing loose painting, we want it all to be loose, not just part. So if we go and start to make the perfect sky, let me look for that brush. This is this, isn't it, with a horse? Huh? If you're looking for a perfect sky, you wouldn't see it. Now, Edward West, and he painted a lot in uh, loose painting, but he never did great fancy skies did he? Now I'll just show you a uh, sky. Now, that's a little bit of sienna. Can you see just a touch of it like that? And I will get some ultramarine, maybe a bit of cobalt. I will just uh, See if we can make it look like it's a cloud billowing, like that, right? I'm, I, but this is blue, of course, so it's, that's the cloud, the white bird, sorry. So we can't have this over here, which is a bit farther away, being bigger, can we? And the, see there then when I caught that bit of blue? It got a little bit of a bit of blue into the the red colour. Now let's have nothing down here. Let's have a disappearing horizon, shall we? So those are a disappearing horizon. So now if we want to put any detail down here, it won't be blotted out by the bag. Now the sky now, what we've dried, is not overwhelming, is it? It's, but we'll make what we'll do, we'll put a couple of cottages in to give us some reflections so that we can practice our reflections, okay? Now we pick up it, that one seems the new one, seems a good little brush, so I'm going to put a couple of little 
cottages in this area. So what I'll have to do is to start us off with some land area. So the land area, I'll switch a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of lemon, and just a touch of uh, blue. Now it's not a greeny cast now. A bit more raw sienna in it, keep it on a, a warm cast now. We're going to put a, a little bit of land about the, this area here to there with another patch of land approaching it from this this area here. Like that. Now, I don't go mad and do too much. Now, coming from this area, we'll have another patch of land here. Right. Now, uh, there we are. We want something to reflect here, so we'll get a... We'll put a little cottage here. Now, there, there's a, a nice spot. Took me to a torch that are wrong, but so those should be a little cottage. This is our land area. To there. Here. Now let's not get too embedded, we're doing too much perfection. So we're going to have a, a little cottage here, which of course is going to be a little bit bigger because it's. Uh, nearer to us. So I'm going to put a little bit of any colour in it really. Browny colour this is, isn't it? And there's another one. I'm not using the side of this brush, see? Like that. Now I'm going to come down with this here and we'll put that same piece here off this side. And then we a little cottage on this outlet here. Now we'll have to have railings along here where it's going to and we're a little bit of ground here like so and there up the other side because this is water we're, 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 we're getting some nice little places for reflections now aren't we? So, our next thing, we'll, oh my arm is, 
got in trouble with this left arm holding the pallet. Um, okay, so now we want some nice green, don't we, for some trees. So, okay, we want some some blue and some card yellow. Now, blue card and card yellow. And we want to add a little bit of darkening in that. Say some burnt umber, a bit of black even. So we've got a dark green now. And this dark green we have to keep as near as possible to this. Look through the old the rest of the painting. So let's see. Clean the palette, clean the palette a bit. new brush okay I 
Okay, we will start here. I'll start working with it. Now, this time we have to watch what we're doing. A bit difficult this one, there's plenty in it, isn't the reflection. No, it all has to be compressed, hasn't it? Oh, that would be a bit farther.
Okay, a bit more now, and then we can get to in a bit, see what it looks like.
and there is an eye. That's a, what on, well, that's a size four in the normal. That's another size four Chinese. And I used a, this was a, a Bob Ross one, an old one. But you can buy them, any sort of a lining brush, will do the job for you. So thanks for looking in. Now this one I did, I did yesterday is a, has a different coloured sky. Can you see different colours? Now I did that one yesterday but decided I wouldn't put it on because of the clash of colours. So I thought these colours would be nicer. You see the difference there in the colours. So I changed them. But I do think you could go darker with the colours on the sky, although the sun's coming across that way. Can you see how the sun's coming that way, isn't it? And it's catching both of sides of those. So they look like. Which is, it's, it more often than not does catch both this and that side, you know. But still, this will leave a bit of a... I don't know. Let's see what I mean with that one. Just giving you an idea, this is now this, is a little bit of uh, burnt sienna and then there's a little bit of ultramarine with a little bit of um, rose madder in it. Rose madder, not alizarine. Now, if that was put in here, that blue in here, in the water, it would look much, much better together. So you can see, I've like just brought some of this type of blue here to try and, and yet then I've gone a bit too much with putting that streak of cloud there, you see. Without that, it would be better. You understand? You see, this is a, a loose painting, and but you, you put in, now that's not done. If you look at Edward Wesson's, that's just not done. This should be just a plainish colour, with that blended out altogether. And you wouldn't distract, that's distracting from that. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. It's something for you to draw out with the tracks of land here. But draw all this out, I'm not, I don't draw me, so, but you'd be better drawing it. And then when you come to put your reflections in, you won't go in wrong places. Because it's actually, we turn it upside down, the reflections will be those, but compressed. I, I've compressed them a bit. You get a bit of compression. What I mean is, pull down together a bit, so it's not, you don't get as much here, and you don't get as much land sticking out here either. Put a little bit there, but maybe a little bit, just a touch of dirt there, but you won't get that showing a lot at the ear. Well, that's just me, but who takes any notice of me? I'm only an old painter who's been doing it years. And now, and, well, I did go to an art school, but everything was different, weren't it, then, this? It's all slick now, isn't it? Slick. Using Photoshop and all that, you know, so you can do paintings ready for yourself. It's all Photoshop. It's all from drawings, even the architecture the drawings, they're all from drawings. Well, no, they could paint something they haven't seen. You'd be trying to paint a ghost, wouldn't you? Anyway, thanks for looking in. Ta-ta for now, and I'll see you next time. God willing, as they say. TTFN, ta-ta for now.